Hello, my name is Kelly Padgett and I'm with the Kentucky Center for Ag and Rural Development or KCARD for short. And today I've got Cindy Finiseth here with the Kentucky Court Council to give us a little bit of information about her program and some resources that are available. Kentucky Horticulture Council has a lot of different resources for veterans and I think there are a lot of things that we can do to really help them find their place and really have successful businesses. Let's put some slides together that I'll go through that kind of step through um, some of the resources that we have, some of our programs, and how to contact us for more information. Welcome. We are the Kentucky Horticulture Council, a resource for information and education for growers, business owners, and the public to promote a thriving horticulture industry in Kentucky. We work across four primary areas, organizing educational programs, coordinating research initiatives, promoting the development of markets, and influencing policy to benefit new and existing specialty crop growers and green industry business owners in Kentucky. Several of our initiatives and programs are of particular interest to veterans in Kentucky. KHC is enmeshed in the local foods movement and actively working to strengthen community and regional food systems. We help growers understand and prepare for different marketing channels and connect local producers to wholesale and direct to consumer markets within and outside the region. Our farm to school project in Knox, Laurel and Whitley counties is connecting local produce growers with food service personnel to increase the amount of locally sourced food served in cafeterias in the six school districts within the three counties. Our Kentucky Small Fruits Initiative supports growers who want to establish or expand plantings of small fruit crops like blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries for wholesale or direct to consumer marketing channels, as well as for manufacturing value added products. Our direct marketing initiative supports local growers and communities interested in starting or expanding local farmers markets and other direct to consumer sales strategies. Our local value chain assessment project is inventorying current capacity and infrastructure on a hyper local basis to identify legitimate producers and qualified buyers. Our grower buyer meetup events increase competitiveness of local growers by providing strategies to connect with and introductions to community and regional buyers. KHC works directly with growers and green industry business owners to create and expand profitable businesses. Our production and marketing education programs prepare growers and agribusiness owners to be successful with scale appropriate production technologies and marketing strategies, as well as the technical skills to thrive in the digital economy. Our Good Agricultural Practices, also known as GABS Preparedness Program, provides technical assistance and cost share assistance to support growers as they expand from direct to consumer marketing strategies to wholesale markets. Our local value chain assessment project is identifying gaps at the hyperlocal level, highlighting entrepreneurial opportunities in the local ecosystem of interrelated farms, agribusinesses, processes, and com commercial food manufacturers and other allied small businesses. Our focus on food safety programs enables growers to produce high quality safe produce for local and regional markets and to meet regulatory requirements. Our technical assistance programs are designed to improve grower and agribusiness awareness and usage of existing business resources. Our promotional campaigns highlight local growers and businesses to elevate awareness of the industry, enhance visibility of operations, and ultimately increase farm and business revenue. Our online Hort Biz Quiz helps individuals filter through the critical business needs of land, labor, and capital to find a potentially profitable enterprise that fits their unique situation. KHC is committed to developing a regional horticulture forward workforce to be competitive in providing safe, high quality food, ornamentals, and green industry services to local and regional communities. Our Ag Vets program will help veterans build employment skills and identify clear paths to jobs and business ownership. This project also includes matching veterans with mentor farms and businesses. We constantly leverage partnerships to create on-farm educational programs like field days and virtual training programs that provide development opportunities for Kentucky specialty crop growers and agribusinesses. These partners are local, regional, statewide, domestic, and international. The Kentucky Horticulture Council is a coalition of member organizations that provides a unified voice for the respective horticulture industry segments of Kentucky. There are 12 different organizations that comprise the council. KHC is a 501c5 nonprofit organization established in 2001 to support the horticulture industry in Kentucky. KHC is supported through grants and the Kentucky Agricultural Development Fund. It's an exciting time to be part of the growing horticulture ecosystem in Kentucky. For more information about KHC, please visit our website at www 
www.kyhortcouncil.org or email us at info at kyhortcouncil.org. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and our recently launched YouTube channel. Thank you for your information today, Cindy. Um, just a few follow-up questions. So when you talk about a career in horticulture council, it sounds like there's a lot of different options. Um, do you have some good tips on how you narrow down what may be the best option for you? Sure. Horticulture is a huge industry and it covers everything, as I like to say, from arborists to zucchini and everything in between. So you know, there are a lot of opportunities, whether it's like having your own green industry service business to like traditional production, um, different ways to sell things. So there, there are so many opportunities. We've developed a tool with the Center for Crop Diversification at UK called the Hort Biz Quiz. And it's a tool that you go through, you answer a series of questions, and it's really related to land, labor, and capital. And those tend to be three things that can be limiting for a, an entrepreneur. So as you go through and answer the questions, it'll give you some suggestions at the end of some opportunities that might work for your unique situation. Um, once, once we've kind of narrowed down what we might be able to focus on as an enterprise, where do we find uh, enterprise-specific resources? That's a great question. Like I mentioned with the biz quiz, so you have an idea of what you want to do or something that you're interested in, you want some more, you know, a little bit deeper dive. So there are a lot of production budgets, enterprise budgets that you can work through. And so like if you took the output from the Hort biz quiz and you dove into some of those crops, so maybe one of the suggestions was um, field steak tomatoes. So you can then go into the production budget and, and those are also developed by the UK Center for Crop Diversification. And you can look at like, how much would it cost? What's the potential profitability? And um, that's just one example. There's like 80 different crop profiles that you can delve into. And that, you know, that's from things that are maybe a little more unusual like hops or ginseng um, to very traditional crops like sweet corn or watermelon or pumpkins. So those are, are a great way to get at the financial part. Um, and then there are other options too of like different marketing channels, things that you're interested in. Um, in the, the slides I mentioned the direct marketing initiative and that's something of you know, different kinds of marketing channels that you would be looking for. So if you were interested in a CSA or selling at a farmer's market or having a roadside stand, um, you know, there are a lot of resources out there to kind of help you think through that more of a business model versus the, you know, the crop under production. Um, so there are those resources that are available online. We also do, um, you know, seminars and webinars. Um, we have some recordings online. Um, and then always you can call us if you have a question um, and we can help direct you to the right person maybe it's your local county extension office that you have a question that could be answered there if it was you know soil testing that would be the perfect place to go if it was something a little bit different you know we might connect you up to a university specialist or you might work with one of um, our staff members so um, because there's so many options in so many different directions uh, it's hard to say there's one specific path because we want it to be customized to the individual so um, Absolutely, anyone interested in additional resources, we can help them locate those and you know, really be sure they're getting the right information to be sure they're successful. Awesome. And I guess some last things would be what upcoming events can uh, someone participate in either nationally or um, on the state level? Sure, there are a lot really, um, and we're kind of going into the meeting season. You know, we tend to think of winter as being like, that's when meetings are and, um, you know, seminars, webinars. And one of the big events we have coming up in January is the Fruit and Vegetable Conference. And this meeting is always in January in Kentucky. And this is like the oh, 50th year that there's been some kind of annual fruit and vegetable meeting. Um, so this year it's a little bit different. It's going to be virtual. So each Tuesday in January, there'll be sessions. Um, so there'll be um, beginner fruit, beginner vegetable, and then more advanced sessions, some business management sessions. Um, so a lot of different types of content um, and person can register for that. They can you know, participate from home, just virtually at their computer. If they don't have good internet access or they want an in-person experience, um, they can contact their local extension office. Um, their agent may be hosting a watch party or there may be one in an adjacent county that they could go to and kind of have a little more um, personal 
interaction with someone. And then all of those sessions will be recorded and available to meeting participants after the fact. So if you wanted to go back and review something or you know had a question about something that was covered in the session, you can go back and, and look at that. Um, and then you know lots of other um, you know, regional uh, statewide conferences and uh, educational programs we put on, you know, we like to do a grower buyer event where we bring um, different growers in an area along with potential buyers so that they can kind of do a little speed date, get to know each other, see if it's a good match between them. Um, and, you know, some things like that that we try to do. And, and we're always looking for programming ideas. So um, if there are folks listening today and they're like, I really would like to see a program on X, then you know that's something we can work on. If it's something that we think would be great for a you know a group of people, you know we're happy to to organize you know some things like that. Maybe in person, maybe virtual, maybe one on one. We'll just kind of see um, what the content is, what the need is, and how we could deliver that information to people. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Cindy. And if again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out um, either to myself or the Kentucky Horticulture Council. And we look forward to working with you. All right. Thanks, Kelly.